Here at Acton Acres, there's two things we like to do every 4th of July weekend. One is to hang our crabbing sign because crab season opens that day. And two, we swing over and believe it or not, even though we're on Whidbey Island, we still put up a shade because we get a few sunny days. So those, these signs and that shade will stay up and then we'll take them down on the 4th uh, of September during Labor Day weekend and when the season ends. It's just a little tradition here at Acton Acres. Welcome to another episode of My Backyard. Today's adventure takes us to beautiful Oak Harbor, Washington for the start of the Puget Sound crab season. Right from our balcony here at Acton Acres, you can look straight out of the water towards the uh, Cascade Mountains and that's the first body of water is Oak Harbor. The next body of water is Crescent Harbor. The owner of Acton Acres, Dave Acton, has a beautifully manicured lawn and a deck that overlooks the harbor where we'll be crabbing today. So if you want one of these seven inch dungeons, well, follow me. Hey, this is Dave Acton with FGS and we're out for our annual Operation Crustacean here on beautiful Whidbey Island up in Oak Harbor. Never rains up here. We got a caravan of cars, 16 people, got a trailer uh, heading down to the Naval Station, Whidbey Island, Crescent Harbor Marina, one, one of those nice Navy perks. We've got three boats in the water ready for us, and we, last uh, night we sat 12 crab pots, had the proper number of people. So we're anticipating a good harvest this year. While we were quiet on the set, the skipper ran over a neighbor's cat. <laughs> Other than that, I guess we're going crabbing, my first time. I'm excited. Let's drink some. And we're driving through one of the last remaining groves of Gary Oak trees. They're a protected species out here. You can't even limb them without a permit. And this is where Oak Harbor got its namesake. Sweet. All right, we are now at the Crescent Harbor. This is the Navy's marina. It's one of those great perks as a retiree. We get to use their boats. Got the, we're gonna go out, retrieve the crab, bring it back, pay for the boats. Uh, we're gonna do the slaughtering of the crab here so all the shells can go right back into the, in the water where they came, which is environmentally the right thing to do. And then uh, go home and steam them. And drink something. And let's drink something. Look what I'm doing. Look at that. <laughs> Boat rentals are available at Crescent Harbor Adventures. Just a slight little hiccup, but it's just a challenge we quickly overcame. One of our boats had an ignition switch problem. So the uh, good folks at the marina got that repaired quickly, and the people that had that the hour before us are now, now out. They're retrieving their pots. And you guys can see them zooming out there. And they're going to be back in about a half hour. We're going to go out. The first two boats are still going to go out and start harvesting, and then we're going to come back and catch up. Two of our three boats are already out on the water pulling the crab pots. Patiently, Dave waits for that third boat to come back. So Dave, what do you think about all this waiting? Thanks, guy. Thanks. This is nice. You're afraid of the fault like Just nice? Nice. Need to drink something. It's been like 12 hours. That is. So you just get the shakes of the camera. You should just stop that. to come aboard the Coral Bay. <laughs> We're going to go crab harvesting. Pots have been sitting overnight eating our crab meat. You can almost hear them chewing right now. You guys, uh, driving needs to be ready at, at all times. In case the driver gets thrown out. Bring in lines one and two. Smooth. Seventy-five horses of pure American fun. I'm right. Going. Can you see past us? Sure, you don't want a life jacket. 
I'm good. Is this a Delaware? <laughs> can, can I pay you to dump it? <laughs> We've got a mated pair of bald eagles that like to roost out here on the fueling pier at Crescent Harbor. And the other one must be out harvesting some dead fish. Okay, we are ready to go rock and roll. Yeah! Woo, doggy! What we're going to do is we're slowing down. We're going to drive right up on the first buoy. And big Sky's just going to reach right across there and pick it out of the water. It can be easy. Right there. So we're allowed to. Hats on. We have to throw back all females, and we have to throw back any male that's less than six and a quarter inches. And Amy, why don't you sit back here and grab grab the uh, cards? We're allowed five per person per day. We just as we catch them, we just call them off. Amy will put a check mark in the box for each of us. We'll have our, uh, oh. Okay, let's see if these are big enough. Grab a trap from the back side, they can't bite you. Cross there, see that? Clearly, clearly big enough. So we get to keep that one, so we'll open the cooler. And I'll call off one, and then Amy will mark it. And then this. The females, you can usually tell by looking because they're darker in color. But not only are they darker in color, you turn them upside down and you see how the bottom is really wide. The abdomen. The abdomen here, that's they're long and thin on a male and wide like a woman. So we got to throw that overboard. So this was actually a very disappointing first catch. Dave, was that your first? It was. This is, I'm quite trying for deadliest catch. I think I'm going to get there. With a poor take on our first pot, it's a good thing we have a team out here. Two more boats and several more pots. We'll count the tally when it's over. I think these guys came out a half hour before us, pulled the pot, took all the crab out and threw them back in the water, so we'd be disappointed. Some of this seaweed. Open up the uh, great crabbing invention called a mega cuff. All right, once again, this is probably a female because it's really dark and it's small and the yep, abdomen is not good. Got to get rid of that one. This, on the other hand, monster. It's probably two and a half pounds and nice. We need a see. So this is number two. Look, let's see. This one looks a little small. Yeah, too small. Gotta let him go. This is a monster. That's almost seven. That's a good seven incher there. Okay, three. Grab it from the back. I can't bite you. I can try. Too small by just an eighth of an inch. Those two aren't going to be too small, but that guy's. This too is small. a female. Yep. Verify. Got to go. Oh yeah! Another seven incher. Woohoo! Jealous, David Dan. Four. We will be eating crab today. Which, of course, we had to. We left a lot of them in there. Dave, he's speechless. Back to the mega cuff. Sweet little crack keeps the rope from tangling next time you pull it out. 